For structural engineers, estimation of accurate wind loads on gable frame structures is both laborious and baffling. Attempts to simplify calculations often lead to increased wind pressures resulting in structural designs that are overly conservative. These limitations compelled us to think of a better way to deal with wind load calculations. And after extensive efforts, our R&D team has finally come up with a perfect solution, a user-friendly application that gives design wind pressures on gable frame structures with extreme precision in just a few seconds. Here's the application with its first input page that requires selection of the design wind code. We will select IS-875, Part 3, the Indian code for wind loads. We then move to the next page. This one is the input sheet for the code we just selected. It contains input fields for structure geometry and wind parameters to be filled in or selected from given options in the units indicated. We start with building length as 150, width 100, eaves height 12.5, frame spacing 7.5, and gable column spacing as 6.5 meters. Let's say that in our case, the basic wind speed is 44 meters per second. Design life is 50 years. Terrain category is two. Building category is industrial. And permeability is medium. Roof slope can be input in either of these two formats. We assume a roof slope of one in 10. The PEB has a continuous roof monitor in rectangular shape. Let us consider a canopy on side A, five meters above finished floor level in reverse slope. And this completes the wind load calculations. A total of five output sheets are generated instantly. The first sheet contains design input summary, followed by detailed calculations for wind pressure on columns, rafters, canopy, and roof monitor as applicable. The second one contains a table summarizing pressure coefficients, uniformly distributed loads, and load directions for various elements of the space frame for wind in positive X direction. GX and GZ represent global X and Z directions, while LY stands for member Y direction. As structural engineers, we all know that wind can cause an internal pressure as in this figure, or internal suction as in this one. Values on left half correspond to internal pressure, while those on the other half correspond to internal suction. Interestingly, loads from this table can be applied directly to analysis model of the structure in given direction provided structure model has the same coordinate system as in this. For example, this value for W1, under this particular load case, is to be applied on A side columns, below the canopy, for all frames except the end ones. And for end frames, the corresponding symbol is W2 the value of which is indicated against it in the table. In the present case, W1 and W3 are identical in value and direction. These are the design wind pressures on windward column portions, as divided by the canopy. As per the Indian wind code, when eaves height reduces to be lesser than 1.5 times the canopy height, wind pressure on upper column changes in both magnitude and direction, as highlighted here. In the table, some values such as those for W7, W8, W19, and W20 are missing. As we can see here, those notations represent wind pressures on canopy and on the column above it, on B side, and since we don't have any canopy on B side, corresponding fields are left blank in the table. The remaining output sheets contain tabulated wind pressures for wind in negative X direction, positive Z direction, and negative Z direction, thus making it a total of eight load cases for wind.
Epicenter. With us, your structure is in safe hands.